An instruction set is a complete collection of instructions that a CPU can execute as part of a fetch to code execute cycle. There are two main types of instruction set architectures, complex instruction set computer, which is CISC, or reduced instruction set computer, which I'm going to call RISC. CISC processors use a large and complex instruction set. Each instruction can perform multiple low-level operations, allowing tasks to be completed in as few lines of code as possible. RISC processors use a smaller and simpler instruction set. Each instruction is designed to execute in a single clock cycle, but more instructions may be needed to complete a task. CISC processors often require multiple clock cycles to execute a single complex instruction because each instruction can perform several operations all at once, such as loading from memory, performing a calculation, and storing the result. RISC processors are designed so that each simple instruction can be executed in a single clock cycle, which allows them to achieve a steady and predictable instruction throughput. CISC processors are more expensive to manufacture because they require more circuitry and a greater number of transistors. RISC processors are cheaper to manufacture because they use simpler circuitry and fewer transistors to support the smaller instruction set. The extra circuitry in a CISC processor generates more heat, so they often need cooling systems such as fans, meaning they're commonly used in desktop computers and laptops. RISC processors are designed to use less power and produce less heat, allowing them to run without dedicated cooling systems, making them ideal for portable devices like tablets and smartphones. Programs written for CIS processors are usually shorter, so they need less memory space to store instructions. Programs written for RISC processors tend to be longer, so they require more space in memory to store the additional instructions. CISC processors are less efficient at pipelining because the complex instructions take varying amounts of time to execute. However, RISC processors are well suited to pipelining because their simpler instructions all take a similar amount of time to execute. And finally, some more obscure differences, just so we've officially covered every accepted difference between CISC and RISC from all previous exam papers. Firstly, some instructions in CISC will rarely get used as they're only needed in specific situations, whereas in RISCs, the instruction set is smaller, so all instructions are used regularly. Secondly, CISC instructions often include many ways to access memory, such as immediate, direct, indirect, and indexed. Modes of memory addressing is its own topic in 2.4D, so those terms will be explained there. And RISC keeps addressing mode simple, usually limited to a few types. Finally, because RISC uses more instructions to perform a task, the compiler will be more complex. Compilers and the stages of compilation will be looked at in 2.2D and 2.2E.